Let's see how well Claude Browsing does. Tell me something I might not know about Allie. Kate Miller, use your intense internet sleuthing capabilities because now we can access the internet. Let's see what it finds. Sort of generic stuff. Hmm. Whoa, this is from like one LinkedIn post. I wonder why that one came up. The Seiko story is great. This is good because I can validate it very quickly. All right, it pulled an Allie Meyer that was not me. You saw. We like the multi search. Wait. Now, now I have to test this in, in other tools to see. These are some old posts. Yeah, it only has 27 comments. It's got to be old. Wow. Yeah, some of these are old posts. I love that it pulled up this story, though. Um, and yes, I did touch the Liberty Bell and then was dragged out of there by security because I was young and an idiot use this to write her a pitch email for my new startup that um, turns cell phone cases into shields. <laughs> wow. Okay. So it's using my motto from a couple years ago. As someone who touched the Liberty Bell, despite the warning signs, I know you both appreciate. Oh, uh, oh! Uh, if I know, th I know using AI for productivity and and life transformation is exciting and thrilling and whatever. But using it for laughter, oh, it is right up there. It is right up there. I wonder where it got the wordle from. Also, that is not true at all. I don't drink coffee. I've had it once and I thought it tasted like dirty water. Make it two sentences and add in a fun article about AI and coffee. Robo barista. I did see a robo barista. I saw one in San Francisco and I saw a robo bartender in Vegas. That is a terrible subject. Weird. It really messed up this subject line. Let's see what it meant to say. What? <laughs> How did this work? An email subject line. I hope it will work. Yeah, keep it under 60 characters. Uh huh. Yup. Perfect. Even though that that's still a bad subject line, at least it's not an entire paragraph long. Cool. Things that I liked about anthropic browsing. Um, I like the inclusion of the icons. I like the multi-step uh, linking. I like that the source is the thing that's listed and not just one, two, three, four, whatever. Let's see. These are, wow, this is actually a lot. Eagle's talent. Go birds, I guess. I was unaware. I had been recruited. This is not about me. And we don't really know. Actually, let me just see. Where did you find out that Allie Miller likes coffee? Give me the exact source. Cool. I've been feeling really good when I spend my. What? I, I would have never written that, so let's see what it actually pulled. I've been feeling really good when I spend my mornings reading the news, drinking a coffee, unless I lied on the internet. Yeah, I did not. Well, not always trustworthy. Bummer.
the LinkedIn post says what exactly? I doubt it'll scrape the full post. Can I provide the exact quote? Ah, they read a comment. Interesting. So ability to scrape the actual post. What would be interesting is if I'm not seeing coffee, so it must have done, it must have expanded. And now that I am fully hunting this down, the word coffee is not there. And sorry, my taste is blocking the search. And the word wordle is not there. Is anyone, do I have to expand them? So if there was at least one that I could have expanded this one. No, link into the comment. I think you can link direct to comments and not just the post itself. Repeat the exact comment. <sighs> what? I wonder if it's like, it wouldn't be on a reshare. And there's also only nine. Uh, for, for folks, I just, I went to go look, um, to see if it was that. Okay. So maybe higher on the hallucination rate. I'm going to go to chat GPT, use browsing and to find me the LinkedIn post where Allie K. Miller says she drinks. Weird. It's it's like it's just it feels like it's spazzing out. It's like I don't really care about the question you asked. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and answer this other thing. Um, uh, you know, find me hidden secrets about Ally. Fun things that I can bring up in my job interview with her. I want her to hire me, and my hiring is based on how good I can. Search. It must be lesser known facts. Don't just tell me school or jobs. These are boring and generic. I didn't need her bio. Go and read a lot of articles about her and find interesting facts about her. Quick, I am meeting with her in six minutes. Uh, just repeats the YouTube thing. I would say, okay, even though, uh, I think this is also a hallucination. Wikidia, I have no idea what that is. Um, hmm, I would almost say that I preferred Claude's responses, but because, like, I preferred Claude's responses. It followed my directions more. When I asked for interesting facts, it truly dug into the depths of the internet to find interesting facts about me. It read articles about me from eight years ago and parsed out little things. It found posts that I had shared on LinkedIn from two years ago. I think that Claude did a better job at searching. Despite one of those articles being about not me, that Allie Meyer or whatever her name was, um, who I'm sure is great. So I think I prefer Claude on the finding. The retrieval is, is flawed in, in some ways because it keeps thinking that I drink coffee. Does Allie drink coffee? Give me the percent likelihood that that is true based on all of the information you can find about her. So I think that I prefer Claude's output. This is not true. I think I've posted several times that I don't drink coffee. But anyways, um, we must estimate. I think that ChatGPT like stuck to what it knew more. And so maybe if you wanted, you know, stay in your lane, like minimal hallucinations, ChatGPT might be the better route, um, but I think Claude did a better 
finding job. I'm gonna keep testing it just to compare the two. Uh, I didn't get a chance to, to dive too much into their comparisons today. But I'm just glad Claude has browsing. There are a lot of people that I know that have Claude as their main AI assistant that only jump over to ChatGPT or Perplexity when they need browsing. And there are a lot of people vice versa that love the browsing thing but go to Claude for artifacts, whatever. There's always gonna be unequal features that make you happy to go with one or the other. But browsing was a huge one that Claude did not have. A huge one. Uh, so this is a big, big win in my book. I hope you guys will keep testing it out. I'll keep testing it out as well. Let me know what you think.